Hey folks, Brian Cooley here. Another one of your emails about high-tech cars and modern driving. This one comes in from Bilal K, who says, why are OEM head units so slow? Sometimes poorly designed and expensive in a lot of cars compared to our smart devices, even though the car costs a lot more. This is one of the holy grail questions of in-car technology. Your, let's say, seven, eight hundred dollar phone whips the pants off your thirty, forty, or eighty thousand dollar car when it comes to infotainment, the interface for it, and the services that are brought in via it. Why is this? Let's lay out, I think, the four key factors. First of all, these hellish head units that we have in cars from factories are there because they occupy top real estate. Car makers are wont to say, yeah, we'll let someone else sit there persistently in that dashboard display and express themselves instead of us, the car maker, expressing ourselves. I know it sounds crazy, but believe me, this is a big issue with car makers. Another one is corporate pride. They have spent millions in all these cases to perfect and develop and brand and name these interfaces in the factory screen. Who's going to raise their hand in that next big corporate meeting and say, you know what, that was a dumb idea. I don't know who's going to do that. Then you've got the new era of data relationships. There are many who say the auto industry in the relatively foreseeable future is going to be about data and building and selling cars will be just the price of admission to get there. Well, you don't want to lose that relationship between interactivity and your driver owner by letting Apple or Google get in there and take over all those interactions, all those requests for places to go, recommendations, where can I go find this or shop for that or find a certain kind of gasoline or, or what's on my calendar next I need to drive to. You see how rich that is? That's valuable stuff. And finally, it just takes time. I mean, just uh, a few days ago from our taping of this email segment, we saw that Subaru announced that they now have CarPlay and Android Auto on the Outback, a full model year after they introduced it on the Impreza, and it's still not available on any other of the vehicles in their rather significant lineup. So it's going to be a multi-year rollout for that one car company. This is still an industry that moves on a clock that's measured in years, not days, weeks, or months.